डेस्टिनेशन ऑस्ट्रेलिया प्रोमोटिंग ऑस्ट्रेलियन एजुकेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नेपलीज डायस्पोरा इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया हेलो एंड नमस्ते वेलकम टू डेस्टिनेशन ऑस्ट्रेलिया टेलीविजन शो दिस प्रोग्राम इज ऑल अबाउट प्रोमोटिंग ऑस्ट्रेलियन एजुकेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नेपलीज डायस्पोरा to give you the all detail about the study opportunities in Australia and sharing the opportunities of international student we have already visited five prominent cities there in Australia last November and December and telecasting the university qualities and tiff stories in this regular series so today i am going to talk about chisholm institute uh based on melbourne it has a very good uh, courses and professional horizon and the very good alumni throughout the whole world and uh, to update more about it we have very special guest from chisholm institute who is none other than uh damien van he is looking after chief commercial officer let's welcome him to the show damien you are welcome on our show thank you very much neil and i really appreciate your invitation today to come and have a chat Okay we are quite happy to having you in this platform so that we can share the study opportunities in Australia and especially the vocational and other business courses under Chisholm Institute first of all would you please tell us something about your Nepal visit for this time yeah so this is um actually our second trip to Nepal uh, for my staff uh, post the pandemic so we've seen lots of changes in education over the pandemic and it's really important that we be able to come into market into Nepal to be able to engage with the education. education agents and be able to engage with the students um Chisholm Institute has had a really long reputation here in Nepal um as a vocational institute so being able to get that face to face engagement and explain to students what it's like to be here is fantastic and also personally for me it's actually my first trip to Nepal so i've had a fantastic time the hospitality has been amazing i actually really can't wait to come back to be honest yeah once again you are welcome on the country of himalayan mountains so uh let's have a talk about the chisholm institute it's a really popular chef based in melbourne so uh, uh for our regular television viewer would you please tell us something about chisholm institute yeah of course chisholm institute's actually a very large vocational education and higher education institute owned by the state government of victoria so chisholm in its current form has been around for about 20 25 years uh we have eight campuses throughout the southeastern suburbs of melbourne uh and we educate somewhere around about 37000 students a year um across those campuses um we have uh, uh, programs running from vocational education into higher education and our main campuses are located in Dandenong in Frankston and in Berwick so some of you viewers may know some of these suburbs in Melbourne um in the, in the outer southeast yeah of course so we have visited prominent universities and colleges there in different uh, territory of australia and really amazing quality of education and the experience and the output is really awesome mm. this case uh, let's have a talk about the quality of education and skill at chisholm institute yeah so chisholm institute as i said before is owned by the state government and the majority of our funding comes from the state government so the state government invests very significantly in our infrastructure and in our facilities so we have some absolutely world class facilities for our students to learn in but also we're regulated by the um by the federal government regulation for texa for our higher education college so that's for our degree and bachelor level programs and by the federal government's regulation around vocational education which comes from asqua so asqua and texa are the main regulators for chisholm and these these are independent government regulators that really ensure that chisholm um Our courses are delivered in a very high quality and meet the requirements of vocational and higher education in Australia. But that's not all. It, for us it's really important as a TAFE and being located in the southeast to be linked to industry. So we want our students to go through to be really well educated, to be really well skilled and be able to come out the other side and have really real world experience that they can go into jobs and be able to really quickly pick up the um the the industry requirements to be able to deliver value to employers as soon as they graduate from our college. So Chisholm and TAFE is all about getting real world skills and making sure that those skills can be applied into industry. So our connections to industry are very deep and very very important because we want to be able to talk to industry, understand what do they need from a student? What is it that they need from our graduates to be able to do their business and to be able to grow their business? And we want them to be able to deliver that to students as they're going through and training with us. So as I said we're really highly regulated by the government we're actually funded in majority by the government but also we're really deeply connected to industry because having students that have real world skills is absolutely vital 
Okay, great. So, especially talking about the Australian education, the versatile of uh, like uh, uh, courses and uh, different like traditional and modern courses are there. And talking about Chisholm Institute, what sort of the industry related courses are there, uh, which is popular among international students? Yeah, sure. So, as I said before, Chisholm delivers around about 250 courses. That's majority to domestic students. But for our international students, we offer four levels of bachelor level qualifications in engineering, in psychology, community health, um, and also in um, business. So these are the bachelor level qualifications. We also offer degree to, to uh, diploma to degree programs. This is quite a unique opportunity where a student comes in for the first year and studies a diploma, and then they actually start in the second year of the bachelor program. And typically they can do this in two to three, sorry, three to four years to be able to study through that whole program. So that's in our higher education college, but also in our vocational education college, people can study um, in patisserie, in uh, commercial cookery, in early childhood education, and get some real world skills. And the really good thing about almost all of our programs is there's a practical placement component that actually exists in there as well. So as the students are studying with us on campus, both domestic and international students, Part of the requirement of studying with Chisholm is actually go into industry and be able to learn the skills and be able to connect with industry. This actually provides fantastic job outcomes for our students as well because they've been introduced to industry. They actually know how to apply the theory and the skills they've learned through their studies and be able to apply that into real world context for an industry partner. And an industry partner can then see straight away the value of that student and then the opportunity that, that may present the student for further employment um, depending on, on what they would prefer. Okay, we are guiding to the like numbers of prospective students, those who are trying to pursue their higher education in Australia. In this case, uh, how uh, does Chisholm Institute establish its infrastructure, facilities, faculties to welcome more international students, those who want to like uh, uh, make their professional horizon in Australia and beyond Australia com after completing their degree? Yeah, absolutely. So. The infrastructure that we have is an investment because we're owned by the state government of Victoria. So the state government of Victoria has a real focus on skills and skills outcomes for the local population um, in Victoria. That then enables us to be able to translate that investment in infrastructure also to welcoming international students coming onto our campuses. So in our engineering school, for example, significant investment has gone in in developing out the engineering school, many, many millions of dollars in renovating that school. And we actually just had an investment of over a million Australian dollars in a virtual welding um, set up. So this is where students actually weld with uh, headsets on virtually before they actually go into the workshop and do it properly. The student engagement from those sorts of um, investments is significant. But in our infrastructure as well, as I said before, we've got eight, eight campuses through the southeast. Our international students study at three of those campuses, Dandenong, Berwick and Frankston. Frankston's just had over 80 or is getting $80 million spent um, on it in terms of development of our infrastructure. We now have world-class um, healthcare training simulators and facilities. Uh, we actually have absolutely world-class early childhood education facilities. And in our new building that's getting built right now and will be finished by the end of this year, we'll move into art and design and our higher education college will operate out of that as well. These are university level quality facilities. Uh, in Dandenong, we're about to invest in significantly in infrastructure with a new three-storey tower in the middle of our campus, which will really cater again to international students in our higher education college. So the investment in infrastructure comes for our domestic students, but also gives the opportunity for our international students to really educate in a world-class education facility that has had significant investment come into it. Okay, so let's have a talk about the Nepalese students stay there. Um, so what is your experience with Nepalese students and how they are doing there? The Nepalese students are wonderful, can I just say. Um, I, I actually met one of our Nepalese students last year. She was actually our International Student of the Year um, in our education awards that we run. She was also nominated by the local Chamber of Commerce in Dandenong, where our campus is, to be one of the greatest um, students in that area. So she actually won that award too. So multi-award multi winning. She studied engineering with us. Um, she's gone directly into industry, earning a fantastic salary. And now for her individual circumstances and what she's done, she's actually on a pathway through to migration. So we've seen some really great outcomes for Nepalese students um, in Australia. And I think the Nepalese students really work well in our campus. Our campuses are incredibly diverse. We have over 160 nationalities study with us. And where we are in Dandenong, it's one of the most multicultural parts of Melbourne. So for Nepalese students to come into, um, into Dandenong and into this part of Melbourne, actually they feel very welcome. 
they feel very at home because it's quite familiar surroundings, but also lots of interaction with domestic students, lots of interaction with our other international students that study with us. So yeah, I love our Nepalese students. Um, and the way we work with our international students is we really welcome them onto our campuses. So we have uh, an, introduction set, an introductory session where we welcome them all on the first day, explain to them how it all works, and we have a full student support services that sit in the background. So helping managing around, you know, from their psychological health, career counselling, making sure what they need out of their education that they can actually get. Okay, great. So talking about the, our television, so a large number of students are continuously asking about the opportunities for the deserving student. In terms of the scholarship, does Chisholm Institute offer a scholarship for international students? Absolutely, we do. Um, so there's actually three scholarships that we offer. So we have um, our scholarship, which is about $6,000 um, over three years. So if a student is eligible and they manage their um, academic progression, so making sure that they're studying really well and attending all of their classes, they can be eligible for an up to $6,000 scholarship over the three years. There's also four scholarships that we offer, which is around about $5,000. That's for quite high performing, academic performing students. So those who are really engaged in their study and doing really, really well. And up until the 1st of June, we've got um, Pathways to Victoria, a uh, $2,500 scholarship, where if they can apply before the 1st of June, I know that's not very far away, um, they can actually get a scholarship for around about $2,500, and that scholarship is actually from the State Government of Victoria. But I think the other part about scholarships that we need to be aware of is also around the total tuition fee and making sure students understand that the total tuition fee that they're paying after all the scholarships Chisholm offers great value for money um, in our education. So it's really important that the student looks at what is the total cost of their education after all the scholarships. And I think they'll find Chisholm is a really good value, very high quality option for them to consider. Yeah. Damien, we have already talked about the quality of education and skills in Chisholm Institute. So to maintain that um, uh, like a quality, it's a really challenging. And to overcome that challenge, what sort of the national and international collaboration has been done with GSM? Yeah, so we work with lots of different colleges um, and also regulators uh, around the world. So we look for world's best practice. You know, the Australian education system is very, very high quality, but we reach out into lots of different markets to make sure that what we're offering is really, really important. So we do that internationally. We have global partnerships across multiple countries in the world. But also domestically in Australia, I spoke before about our industry connections. And our industry connections provide not only value for the outcomes for our students, where our students have the opportunity to go and work in industry and have that really deep experience of understanding what it's like to apply their theory and their skills they've learnt with us in industry, but also to understand how industry can then feed back into our courses and make sure that we're offering courses that are relevant, we're providing skills to students that are important and valued by industry. That actually really makes sure that our outcomes for our students are world class. We have some of the best graduate student employment outcomes of any TAFE in Australia. So I'm really, really proud of the outcomes that we see come with our students, both our domestic, but also our international students. And that comes from that global collaboration, but also that really deep local connection that we have to our industry and the communities that we operate in operating in the southeast. Okay, thank you so much. So, I mean, especially uh, you have provided a very like uh, informative um, uh, information about the Chisholm Institute, study opportunities and so on things. For that, thank you so much of, um, once again. And finally, what is your message to the prospective student and parents, those who are trying to get best institution, best study opportunities in Melbourne? Yeah, absolutely. I would say consider Chisholm Institute. I think we offer some great outcomes for our students, really great, high quality, good value for money uh, education that provides really strong employment outcomes for our students, be that in Australia or be that here in Nepal, depending on where the student would like to go. But also I'd like to say that consider lots of different options and also think about what does your, your, if you're the parent, what does your student or your son or daughter want from their education and make sure you talk to lots of different people. Um, here in Nepal, there are many education agents that can help um, on that journey. We work with many of them here in Kathmandu. And it's really important that the, the parents and the students really get what they want, but really research deeply and consider what is the best for you and for your actual education journey. Right. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thanks, Anil.
डेस्टिनेशन ऑस्ट्रेलिया प्रोमोटिंग ऑस्ट्रेलियन एजुकेशन एंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ नेपलीज डायस्पोरा इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया